The reason why you have trouble taking action on your fitness is not because you don't want it bad enough like the last hundred fucking videos you watched from all the influencers you follow, which at this point you're probably fucking sick and tired of hearing now, but rather it's because you don't not want it bad enough. Wait, does that make any fucking sense or am I just stupid? Words are hard. Let me explain by using this analogy and if you want more mindfuckery analogies like this, go ahead and drop me a follow. So imagine that you're sitting at your couch at home and your house is flooding. Now we both know that floods are bad, it's a problem, and we need to do something to fix it. There's no denying that. But the one factor that's going to make you do something about it is how much does it affect your daily life because if you're someone who doesn't even get up from the couch much is fine with getting your feet wet from time to time then you're probably not going to do anything about it versus if you're someone who is constantly moving around the house it's probably annoying as fuck to walk in water so you're going to do something about it so what should you do if you're someone in that first situation in this case you would benefit from making your situation just a tiny bit shittier maybe you need to purposely sit in the water and stir the pot a bit so that you actually do something about it or maybe even that isn't enough and you actually need to lie down in the water for it to be irritating enough for you to do something about it. Either way, as people, we have a much easier time at moving away from something that's bad than moving towards something that we know is good for us.